Hey guys, it's your girl Cristalis. Um, coming to you with my product paparazzi review. Um, pardon the lighting and the scenery. <laughs> I'm kind of doing this for my room. This is a brush job. Um, and I know I haven't done this for like literally over a month. Things got really busy and hectic with me. Um, but I'm back and I plan on doing this um, like once a week because um, I do have a lot of products that I want to go over so um, well anyway so I'm doing a product review on these nail stick bombs that are really popular right now and they have a lot of a lot of different brands are coming out with them um, and the ones that I've been using are the Revlon uh, color burst matte balms which you can see here and so, I've been getting compliments on my lip color, which is actually these two blended together. Um, this is Audacious, sorry, this is Audacious and this is Showy. And the colors are really pretty. I look really, really shiny right now and I'm unsure why. Probably because it's 90 degrees. It's about 91 degrees outside. But anyway, so, um... So yeah, so these each go for, I think they were like $7.88 a piece. Can't remember because I brought them a while ago. Um, but with my product reviews, what I like to do is really wear things before I do a review on them because I feel like it's kind of unfair to buy something, wear it one time, and then do a review because you don't really, there's so many different things that can factor into whether a product works for you or it doesn't. And I think a lot of it has to do with climate, um, you know. It could be where you're, you know, if, it's, if you're wearing it at night, if you're wearing it during the day. Um, so I will say about these, oops, that dropped. Okay, so what I will say about these um, by Revlon, the Color Burst Matte Sticks, is that I really like them because they're soft. They literally, mm, they go on like a bomb. Um, and it's easy because it's just like a crayon, so it's just like a, you know, you're just like painting your lip, which is dope. The only thing that I really cannot deal with is the fact that if you have any kind of flaw on your lips, like if your lips are chat or if you have like lots of little creases in your lips, like this is going to show every flaw. Like you need to wear a primer, a, pr uh, a lip primer before you put these on. And so that's the thing that I don't like because I don't like to cake on a lot of different lip products. like. Bomb. I used to always have to wear chapstick before I put on lipstick. Um, but the only thing is that sometimes it'll get that cakiness and it'll just turn white, like right in there. And that's embarrassing because I don't have time to be looking in the mirror 24-7. So if I have all this white stuff on my lips, it's like, mm, girl, what's your life? So that's the, that's the real problem that I had with this. Um, also, I would just recommend that if you're using these, you use a lip liner. I don't have on a lip liner, um, and I just reapplied, but I would definitely use a lip liner because these kind of bleed. It's just the truth. Like, I've seen people say like, oh, it's kind of like you got a lip liner and lip color in one, but that's really not the case because it's just like not using lip liner with lipstick. Like, you kind of need lip liner. Like, lip liner is kind of essential when you're doing um, color. So that's kind of my big thing. I am going to try some other brands too because I, I love the convenience of them. Um, but I would exfoliate, if, if I were you, I would exfoliate my lips really good before you apply them because it'll give, your, it'll give it a smooth base to start. And you, and you kind of need a smooth base. Um, so again, that is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm. And um, this is showy. This color is showy. And this color is audacious. And these, I used them both because really I was trying to like match it to my little bandana gang that I have going on. And also my shirt is kind of see through so you can like, you can see it on the sides because it's open. And so I just wanted to be like, you know, cute and matchy. And I just threw this necklace on. I didn't have this on all day. I threw it on for effect. Um, really the necklace I had on is... Long, blinky kind of necklace. 
So, um, so that's that. Okay, so now foundation. The last product paparazzi I did, I was using this Chanel Lumiere. Um, and well, it didn't work out. It turns out that this is not my summer shade. In summer, you have to switch your foundation because typically you're tan. You're, you know, you're tanner than what your normal color is. I made the mistake of buying this without without trying it in real life. Um, typically, when you go to a makeup counter and they give you like a whole, oh, this is color, this is your match, la la la. That's all fine and dandy, but when you go outside and when you are in the nightlife and when you're taking pictures and that flash goes off, that color shows its true color. This ain't my color. This is too light. I was like looking crazy in pictures at night in the club because you know I'm a bartender, I work at night. So I'm looking crazy in pictures like they photoshopped my face on some brown girl's body. And I'm like, what? What? That just doesn't work. It's just like, it's so, it's just not attractive. Um, I like the foundation. It is $60. This is a splurge. This was a splurge for me. My girl Time the Infamous, I follow her, um, you know, religiously, so I trust everything because she never really lets me down. And again, every product doesn't work the same for everybody. So I do feel like this is a good product, but for me, this is winter. This is, and it's, even though it's, um, it's sunscreen makeup, but you know, like in the winter, you can still wear it. Um, I, I'm just trying to find my good one. Um, so yeah, so what I did is I switched to NARS. That's what I have on now. I have on NARS Sheer Glow, and I think that's part of the reason why I'm looking a, a, a smidge shiny, um, because the, the Sheer Glow has like a little bit of a glow effect to it. Um, I used a couple of layers today, but usually, like I literally use one layer on my face. It is the best foundation I have ever used in my life. It's also like almost $20 cheaper than the Chanel. But, like I said, it's so good. It's just lightweight, but it's buildable. It's not sheer. I don't know where they got that from. It's not sheer, but like I said, it's lightweight, it's buildable, it's flawless. It is flawless. Like, I just, I love it. It matches, it matches my skin tone so well. Now, if you go to Sephora, they have a little machine, and they can they check different parts of your skin, and then it comes up on the um, on the machine like what your skin type is, like your number, and then it'll link up, and they'll link it to the computer, and it'll match every. It'll come up with all these different shades and different brands of makeup. So what I recommend you do is you just get samples of those because they'll give you samples and they'll write the name on it they'll label it that way you can go out in the real world and you can really see what works for you and what doesn't because when you've been out during the day all day your foundation changes and same thing at night so like you just really got to find out what works for you so far NARS, NARS is working for me and I'm I couldn't be happier thank you time I love you <laughs> um she's so dope also what I tried while I was in there um, getting some more NARS is th this mascara that I have on is something also that Time the Infamous raved about raved about <clears throat> and it's the Dior Dior show in blackout um, I didn't get to use the brush that comes with it because it's unsanitary to use a brush that is in a public setting where everybody can use it so I use the sample brushes um, and I think that kind of makes a difference because it's supposed to be volumizing but it didn't really volumize. It lengthened though. It lengthened and it is really black and I really like it. Um, it's She on her video said it was $35, that it was a $35 splurge. The Safara that I went to, it's $25 and that's in Virginia. So I don't know if it's a regional thing whether prices, changes, prices change or not. Um, also, real quick, I do have on I have on the NARS primer underneath this. Um, it's the Radiance Enhancing Primer, um, and then I also have Mac Studio Fix Plus sprayed gently lightly on top. Um, so I don't know whether or not this is the first time that I'm using the Fix Plus. I just went in there and like sampled it. I am gonna get it because that's another thing that um, time raves about, and I just really like 
you know, kind of like trust her word. You know, she's been doing this. So, so that's that pretty much. Um, also, if you're in there, ooh, get a chance. Go to the perfume section. You have got to smell the Tom Ford Violet. Violet Blonde, because there's Orchid, Violet Orchid too, and it's in a darker bottle, but then the Violet Blonde is in a lighter bottle, and it smells so amazing. I'm like in love. It's like my next favorite, next to um, Burberry Brit, and I don't like the Burberry Brit perfume. I like the Burberry Brit Oi de Toilette or whatever. It's just a lighter fragrance. The perfumes are heavier. They last longer, but they're just a little heavier. But anyway, so yeah, it's like my new favorite thing in the world. I'm like, for Christmas, for my birthday, I'm just going to be like, listen, I don't pop Burberry anymore. I pop Tom Ford. <laughs> so if you want to get me a present, you can get me Tom Ford. Um, okay, and so that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm going to be dropping a video every week. Um, please check out exclusiveish.com because I have a Fall Essentials line dropping soon and I'm really excited about it. And it's um it's basically going i'm working with three different designers um I'm, i have a crown line which are like the cute flower crowns that all the girls are wearing right now except we got some dope ones coming out for fall um so it's gonna be a little darker the colors and stuff um also i have a jewelry line that i'm working with dainty decoro um sarah the um you know the maker of Dainty Decoro she's dope she she makes really good jewelry and it's handcrafted and if you want things that everyone can't have you need to go to exclusivish.com because that's what it's all about it's all about being able to have things that are limited like who doesn't like limited things I don't want to look like everybody else I don't want to have everything that everybody else has so if you feel me on that go to my site um, it drops mid-August, so keep a lookout. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Crystalis. That's C R Y S T double A L I double S. And also follow exclusiveish.com on Instagram, and it is at exclusiveish. E X C L U S I V I S H. -S it's the word exclusive-ish without the E, add the ish. <laughs> I should know this. It's mine. It's always weird when I spell it, though. Anyway, love you guys. I'll be talking to you next week, and I'll have brand new products. If there's anything you suggest that you want me to try out, thumb up my video and, and leave me a comment. I will, I will be your guinea pig. I will do what you need me to do, okay? Love ya. Keep it cute, boo.